So it's Christmas and I was thinking a lot about AI agents for some reason. Um, and actually, uh, specifically about how to create AI agents the simplest way as possible and using no code because I just can't code. So I have to use no code. And I thought, why not just making a video where I share the first AI agent I built, which is kind of cool and which is the very first iteration of what could be something bigger only using no code tools and especially make that come. So this video is probably going to be a little bit more technical than usual and shorter. It's not prepared. So I'm just going to walk you through what I thought about. Um, this is a very simple make scenario. And my goal is to create um, a system that I give a task and it will iterate until it's done with the task, right? And the first thing I thought about, um, just to make it very easy, is um, I want an agent to give me the synonym of a word and to keep on going with uh, giving me new synonym. I don't know if I pronounce it correctly, synonym or synonym, um, pardon my French, uh, but I will say synonym, which is the uh, word that has the same meaning as another word. So here is the webhook. Um, if you don't know what's a webhook, it's, a, it's some data that is sent through uh, a new world. And within the webhook, I give one world. Then I connect to the OpenAI API. And I connect specifically to an assistant that I have created. Again, if you don't know what is an assistant, um, it would require a lot of... Um, explanation, but there is a lot of content on YouTube about it. So I will go um, straight to the point and just talk about uh, what it is that I've created. So within the OpenAI API, you can create an assistant, which is kind of a bot, a bot within uh, OpenAI, uh, to whom you give a task and you give some information and you attribute a model to use. Um, so this is the name of my agent. Um, it's not an agent yet, it's just a bot actually, but uh, I call it uh, AI agent test and is the instruction is very simple. You are a synonym, uh, which is, <laughs> which has a fault here. Synonym expert, when you receive a word, you will answer with a synonym. After five repetitions with an S, you will answer with the very first word you were provided with. Okay, save. So let's put it on the side now. And as you can see here, when I, in this module, I access this agent. And in the message, I only give the first word that I want. All right. So from there, normally I just, I, I should have only one word as the output of this one, of this module, which is a synonym of the, the first word I gave it. But I also want to know what is happening. And here, I will remove that for a while and tell you later what it is. I have a column called threads, which is for the thread ID for to keep track of the conversation, input, output. And here, this is this module, I add a row to uh, my Google sheet that I just showed you. And I put the thread ID, which is which comes from this module, the synonym, which comes from this webhook, and the result, which comes from this module. It's just to keep track of it. But wait, an agent is supposed to have a loop. It's supposed to iterate on what it is um, it's supposed to be autonomous, right? It, so normally I should have a, word, a way for the agent to understand what was the last word and then go back to the beginning and iterate based on the last word. Uh, so that's why here I have a HTTP request, which basically take the, the webhook and post it again. So I basically post the entry at the end of my scenario, I post the same webhook at, uh, as, the, as I posted at the beginning. 
And I also give as the synonym, the result, the result, the output of this one. And I also give the thread ID. So this way I keep track of the conversation because that's the, the specificity of an AI uh, assistant within OpenAI is that you, you get to talk in the same conversation as long as you keep the same thread ID. All right. So now when I finish a scenario, then it goes back and starts a new scenario. But instead of having the word I gave it at the beginning, it has the word which was the output of the previous run. And that's why here I got this uh, data. That's my first try. As you can see, that was a try, uh, just a one solo try. And here I gave the word smuggler. It says trafficker. It started again with trafficker and it says dealer. And then here and vendor and vendor merchants. And then it was five times. So now it says smuggler. And then it started again and it, it was running until I um, decided to stop it. It could have run uh, forever, basically. Let me show you in action uh, how it works. All right, so I just grab the um, address of my webhook and oh, I have it here already. So I, I have the, the address of the webhook and then I go question mark and then I was just doing it before, but I <laughs> messed up with my recording. So I'm doing it again. That's why I have the word I wanted to show you. So I just put the first synonym as bottle. And now before I proceed, I just turn on my scenario. And now be prepared to have your mind completely blown away because it is so impressive. Are you ready? Go. All right. And now we wait a little bit and we will see it happen. Maybe we can try to see it right away. Yeah. As you can see, it's working right now. You cannot really see it though. We should. No, we don't see it, but here, here's working. Yeah, I know it's impressive. So I gave it bottle and gave me flask and then flask, then it's vessel. Then from vessel, it goes back again, then it's container. And okay, now receptacle. Don't know if you pronounce it this way. And then how many do I have? Bottle, because I asked him, I asked it every five iteration go back to the first word I gave you. All right, so it works and now it goes back again. And basically, as long as I'm not stopping it, it is continuing to run forever. And that is kind of a problem for me. Uh, so I'm stopping it right now. It has a bit of a pain to stop because uh, there are APIs still running, but that's not the point. What I wanted to show you here is that as useless as uh, this AI agent is, it is still, it still has like 80% of what you would want from an AI agent. Um, and we could call it, uh, we could give it a name, you know, like the synonym. No, I think it's a yeah, synonym guy. So this is the guy that when you want a synonym, then you send a webhook with the one word, and then it will iterate and give you synonym forever. Uh, but you can have, depending on what you are working on, if you are working on content creation or growth marketing or customer service, you can imagine tasks uh, specific and create those agents within Make. Uh, in my opinion, I mean, probably developers are going to get crazy here because uh, I'm just, I just can't code. So this is my only way to think of how can I create an agent, right? But I think it is possible from this basis to create different agents. And I want to show you how it could look like uh, if you go a little bit further. But just before, I want to show you something else, which is, let me bring it here. I just asked ChatGPT, what are the requirements for a system using AI to be called agentic or an AI agent? That's why I said 80% of the qualities, um, because those are the things that say that 
define what is an agent, basically. So autonomy, not really at this point because it needs to be uh, started and stopped, right? Goal-oriented, yes. I, um, this uh, somehow useless agent is goal-oriented. It has only one goal. Perception, it doesn't really have a perception, although yes, because it receives an information, it understands the information and it starts, even though it's very simple. Reasoning or decision-making. Uh, I would say yes, since we are iterating on the same conversation and it keeps track of it. And the fact that I say every five iteration, you go back to the very first one, then proves that there is in this system, as simple as this, there is some reasoning. Action, yes, it takes action. It actually uh, go ahead and uh, goes ahead and, and um, create new roles in the Google Sheet. Uh, adaptivity, um, no. Clearly not. I it could, if I would then read the previous uh, entries of the Google Sheets and and reiterate on it on on it, so then it will have adaptivity. Interactive capabilities, no. But that is the next step of the video. Uh, that's what I'm going to show you now. Persistence, well, it never stops, so I guess it is quite persistent. And boundaries of decision making doesn't have it because if I don't stop it, it never stops. So that is something uh, you need to consider before starting such a system, right? But okay, now what if we think a little bit further? So as you can see here, I take my dummy agents. Then I just add one more step here. So basically, imagine if we have the same thing. So we have a, a webhook and with some information in it. Then we have an assistant that has a certain role and keep track of the conversation. Then this assistant is task, tasked to do two things or several things. One thing is obviously to understand what he's doing. Uh, then he goes ahead and he decides which API it should call to accomplish his task. And here, you can have several APIs in line or however you want to position it, then it goes, I don't want to say, to explain how you would position them uh, within the make scenario because that's not the, the point of this video. The point is just the theory of, if you have your assistant that decides, and that's, that, that's the very important point, the assistant decides which API it needs to call. And, but it has access only to the APIs that you gave it access to. So for example, here's the API of Facebook ads. So for example, it could go ahead and retrieve Facebook, uh, the insight about the, the current running campaign, or a certain access to Shopify, or a certain access to Pickup or Notion. Or here is a HTTP request because if you are uh, familiar with API, with an HTTP request, you can access every single tool that has an access, basically. So now you get an information and you have your assistant and you say, okay, this is your task. This is the access that you have. Which one do you want to call to get the information that you need? And then it will decide. Then you call the API. Then you record everything that is just for you to track, right? And the second thing which uh, happens in parallel here is like, not only you, it tells you what's the API it needs to call, but it also can tell you what's the next step, what's the step afterward, right? And you can have it uh, um, at the same time. So you say, which API do you want to call? And uh, what's your next step after that? And then it gives you the two answers and here you send it back. Or you can also call it here and say, cool, here are the results um, from your API call. And then you send everything back to the beginning with the reasoning of, I wanted to do that, I called this API, I analyzed this API, that's my next move and goes back. Now, okay, that's your mission, no, that's your current information in this conversation, what else do you want to do? What API do you need to call? And then again, 
and it goes back. And at some point, you can imagine that there is a condition for it to stop. I don't know how, it's just me <laughs> passing time and just putting out the stuff that is in my mind. Um, yeah, so I don't know if it makes sense. I honestly don't know. I, I'm, I would be surprised that there are many people watching until uh, this point. But if you do, uh, if you are um, a developer, I would be really interested in, in knowing what you think about the system in the comments, if it makes sense. Uh, and if you are not a dev and you're like me, uh, you can just do no code stuff. Um, does that make sense? And what kind of use cases uh, you can imagine uh, going for? This is obviously just the very, very beginning, but I think it's just a mental framework of like, when you start having that in mind, then you, when you come across something, um, then you can say, oh, hey, well, maybe I can do a small agent with that without using the fancy tools that are, I mean, every tool now is an AI agent. And um, since weeks now, I'm trying to understand what is actually an agent, <laughs> like, what, what does it do? So yeah, um, let me know in the comments if you find it useful, found it useful, and if you have uh, any idea of other use cases and if it makes sense, whatever. Have a nice day, Merry Christmas, and I see you in the next video. Bye.